My name's Simon Jones. Uh, I'm an operational manager with the Mental Health and Learning Disability Trust. My job is to run adult mental health services uh, and to ensure that we use our resources effectively and as efficiently as we can to deliver very high quality care and to use feedback from our users and our carers to make sure that we're delivering what we say that we should be delivering. Within the organisation at the various levels, we've got to make sure that the set of measurements, the set of figures or the metrics is actually appropriate to that level within the, within the trust, in our case, within the trust. So as I've said, at the ward, I want the ward managers to understand what their business is and what information they need to deliver their particular job. That gives them ownership of the service. At the higher level within the care groups or the directorates or the departments, there's a much wider overview. Uh, and they need a much wider spread of information to support the delivery of service. And again, that gives them uh, empowerment and power at their level to be able to run their services. And so on right up to the Trust Board. And what you see at the Trust Board is a very general set of, of metrics which I think assure them that the Trust is doing what it should be doing. It's hitting their targets, it's not spending any more money than it's got, it's doing the quality things, and it's, it's actually functioning as a public sector organisation and is doing all the, covenant, uh, all the, all the governance issues and, and ticking all the, all the boxes. But the important thing with any set of metrics is that they are appropriate for the level of the organisation. And the key bit with healthcare, I think, in what we haven't done is that we've always kept it at a very high level. So actually, healthcare services have been run by, um, by very high level managers who I think have been quite distanced from the actual level of service delivery. So when our user comes in and has got an issue about how we've treated them, about the sort of customer care issues, the manager, the war manager, the nurse that they're talking with really hasn't been empowered to sort the situation out. What that tends to do is delay the whole process of repairing and improving. Yeah, it's like the nurse will say, well, I've got a form you can fill in to complain. It's like... I want to be complained dealt with now. And then, I'm, get, I'm pissed off now, not in two yeah. weeks. And then three months later, I'll get a report. Yeah. And, this, and I don't hear anything else. No. And the, the issue about having different levels of, of metrics deals with the time problem of, 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 of reporting. Um, in a, from my experience, uh, a lot of healthcare organisations, their corporate reports tend to be um, in arrears. You know, I will know in month 10 what we delivered in month nine or sometimes month eight. We need to be much more responsive. And the only way we'll be much more responsive is if the people who make decisions about allocating resources and delivering services know what's happening with their services now and can make instant decisions. And again, speed up the whole process about how we develop and deliver services and become more efficient.